Marking menus inside of Maya allow us to choose different commands and tools very quickly and easily. They're very good to use for experienced users. If you're a beginner to Maya, I strongly recommend you start getting used to using the marking menus as they can make your work go a lot faster and allow you to work a little bit more productive and efficient inside of Maya. To access a marking menu, you have to understand first how the marking menu works. The marking menu is context sensitive. So based on what you're doing or what object you have selected in your scene, you may get a different marking menu. So for example, if I don't have anything selected and I right click an empty space, this gray area back here, and I hold down the right mouse button, I'll open up a marking menu. Now right now I only get two options. Use a complete tool and select all. If I choose select all, all the objects in my scene are selected. So let's deselect by clicking out here in empty space. Now let's see what happens if I select an object and right click on top of that object. So I'll go ahead and select one of these picture frames in this back wall and now it's selected. You can see it's highlighted in a green wireframe. And if I right click on top of it and hold down the right mouse button, I get myself a marking menu. And this is how marking menus are accessed. And you can, based on what you have selected, you can choose different options. So for example, in this case, I'm selecting a polygon object. So when I right click with the uh, marking menu or right click with the mouse button, I open up this marking menu and I can go to edge mode, vertex mode, face mode, uh, multi-selection mode here. I also get this submenu down here with different options. So I can go ahead and select the object. I can select its hierarchy. I can go ahead and open up its material attributes. So I can open up the attributes associated with its material. I can uh, assign a new material. So you can see how you can go ahead and use this marking menu to do so many different things. Everything from changing the material, assigning new material, selecting the object, editing the object. It really is very helpful to use these marking menus and it's a lot more efficient than coming up here and using these main menu items and having to dig through here for specific menu items that uh, may require you to go through several menus just to do a simple operation that you can probably do just with a few mouse clicks from using the marking menu okay and when I let go of the mouse button the right mouse button the marking menu disappears now the marking menu has some different modifier buttons and based on what button I press on the keyboard I'll get a different marking menu so for example if I just use the right mouse button it opens up the standard marking menu here for this polygonal object this picture frame but if I hold down the control key and then hold down the right mouse button to open up the marking menu I get a different marking menu because this is a polygonal object now I get a marking menu that allows me to do a few different things for example I can convert a selection of vertices to edges and I can just go back to my uh, original marking menu and that's actually pretty easy to do maybe a little bit difficult to see let me go to wireframe mode so it's a little bit easier to see I'll open up the right uh, the right click menu or the marking menu and if I go to one of these options say I go to edge loop utilities down here in the lower right I'll hover over it and a new marking menu opens up that allows me to choose a few options associated with edge loops I can select the edge loop tool go to edge loop and delete I can go to edge loop go to edge loop and duplicate if I want to go back to the previous marking menu you notice that there's this little circle icon that's connected with a black line to the new marking menu if I go back and hover my mouse over that little circle icon I go back to the previous marking menu so I can go to edge ring utilities if I want to go back simply just go back to the previous marking menu by hovering over that little white circle so there you go so marking menus are extremely useful inside of Maya they allow you to work uh, probably 10 times faster than someone who works just using these main menu items up here which can be very slow and inefficient so I strongly recommend using the marking menus to your advantage they're there in Maya specifically for that to increase your productivity and speed Thank you.